Hey, good morning everybody. So welcome to Pigs Outside. And uh, this morning, Kate and I are going on our second trip of the season for the 2019-2020 waterfowl season. Uh, the first time we went, I didn't really record much. Um, it was a late afternoon hunt, kind of a scouting trip. Caden, we got grouse dog back there. But uh, anyway, so we're out here heading into our spot, um, get unloaded, and hopefully be able to get a little bit of footage today. It'll be awesome. Get a little shooting in. It's been a pretty slow season here where we're at, so it would be really nice to uh, actually get a few birds for the freezer. Anyway, all right, we will uh, see you out there. Bye. All right, so here we are in the morning. Well, kind of said, you kind of see the sky, so it's kind of dark. Right, guys so sorry you missed out but ended up killing one so yeah it's a hen take what we can get right now help him in Kate good job Joe good job good job got a bird up high alright so anyway I'll try to get some better footage thanks So I got the bird down, it's down over there where grouse is at. Um, let's see if you can kick it up. It's still kind of alive. All right, so anyway, what happened is that bird went down right there and it swam all the way over there and that stuff is super thick. But anyway, so here's kind of our setup. Um, we have two aquapods, that's what I use. They're made up there in Washington, awesome boats. We designed our own blinds and doors. Um, so you just kind of, kind of giving you the layout. Here's I'm gonna redo this, but here's Grouse's little hidey hole. It flips up. I got a string to pull it back over. Um, anyway, so here's my cockpit. We got the Bimini, Bimini, Bimini um, brackets with little push pins, uh, little cotter pins. Um, all it is is conduit that we bent. Solded, so, solded, sewed um, some, cord, some cordura. Gosh, can't talk, sorry. Sewed some cordura over the top of it, and then we used um, this mesh. You can pick it up at Home Depot or anything, and then we just kind of fit it and cut it and zip tied everything on. Um, see some of the zip ties right there. It's all fitted on there. Um, so, anyway, that's kind of kind of the whole deal. And we're in there, we're sitting in there gun sits there um, I have my the camera set up right there it's kind of hard to film it's not quite tall enough to set in the water but uh, anyway these things look pretty awesome when they're all folded up um, kind of good. they blend in pretty good it's lots and lots of time grassing I've got the 12 foot and Caden has the 10 foot so
that's the boats when they're all in them. You can see grouse sticking up. Caden's standing in his. Um, Caden was a little bit harder. Um, mine is a fiberglass composite boat. Caden's is a roto molded boat. Um, so we designed his a little bit different. Same thing, Bimini um, hardware. And we just did a hoop on his and he takes his doors on and off um, a lot easier than ours. Um, his doors are a little bit wider, designed a little bit different. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what we got going on. There's our spread. Pretty simple, pretty basic. They flip up pretty easy, just kind of like a layout blind. The, uh, Avery finishers and stuff you just flip them open just a, a good old 1 by 12 backboard with a 2 by 4 on it and then what we did is we had some aluminum some square aluminum and uh, bent that all up and that kind of gives us the rest so this is actually the uh, back of the boat where the keel is it's underneath got a little mat down there grouse is in the front that way when we pull into places we could just paddle right into the toolies and then push it in from the back and then we lay with our feet pointing toward the back of the boat to keel so anyway well I'm gonna get back in the boat and drink some coffee and hopefully get a little better footage for you guys I don't know we'll, we'll find out thanks got some more pintails Good job. Back. Gonna go back here and help Grouse find this bird. All right, so Caden just killed his first bull pintail, bull sprig. Good boy, Grouse. Good boy. You couldn't get on film. Sorry, guys. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, man. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Here, let's clear out some of these toolies. Oh, almost went down. Good boy. Come on. Good boy, Grouse. Good boy. Well, that was super exciting. Come on. All right. Good boy. Good boy, Grouse. Good boy. Good boy. What do you think, Caden? Hey. That was awesome. Let me see. Awesome, dude. Well, that was kind of fun, kind of exciting. Caden killing his first bull sprig. Hey, good job, man. Thanks, Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, 
these birds are just coming straight over the top and I'm trying to get them on film and trying to get to shoot and also record and fiddle fart around. I broke my tripod, but anyway, hopefully we'll try to get some more action. I'm gonna try to bush fix that thing. So get a little better footage. All right, thanks guys. Hopefully we'll get a few more. Well guys, sorry, I don't know what's going on. I did not bring my backup battery charger. Um, but anyway, my battery is dying. It's at 20%. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. And then uh, do a video at the end of the hunt and let you know how many birds we bagged. And um, I'm gonna try to save the rest of that for this. So here we are. Caden, grouse. All right, guys. Talk to you a little later. Bye. Well, everybody, it's uh, only got 10% left on my battery, so make it quick. Um, anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, shoot times, we only got five more minutes. It's calm, clear. We had pretty good flights of birds, but uh, yeah, tripod broke, and then trying to use my hand and whatever it was just kind of kind of difficult. But thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. We appreciate it. And uh, Hopefully we'll get some better footage next time. Go buy a better tripod, new tripod, and should do better. But uh, if you like this video, hit that uh, like button, that thumbs up button, and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Anyway, so have a good day.